Bon versus bien. C'est bon Oh oui, c'est bon. Euh, vous en voulez encore Non, non, c'est bon. Euh, tout va bien Oui, oui, c'est très bien. How do you use bon and bien? They both mean good in French and somehow it's a huge source of confusion. I'm going to teach you the difference and how you can know which one to use and perfect your French. Salut! My name is Rochelle DeMeo, your native French instructor from Beltier Academy. So bon and bien can technically be used in three ways in terms of grammatical speech. So it could be used as an adjective, it could be used as an adverb, and it could be used as a noun. If you're already scratching your head trying to wonder what those are, I will explain it, but again, I don't want to get too grammarly on you and discourage you from possibly learning these and using these. I want to just kind of go right to it and explain when you would use which and which circumstance. So as an adjective, an adjective pretty much is just going to describe a noun. A noun is a person, place, or thing. So an adjective is going to describe something and you can use bon or you could use bien to mean good. So let's start with bon. Pretty much there's two main ways or most common ways that you're going to use bon in French. The first way is anytime you're talking about food. The good way to remember that or the best way would be bon appétit. When you say, hey, have a good appetite, enjoy your meal, bon appétit. So anytime that you are thinking, huh, how would I use bon, think first of all of anything that's related to food. Oh, c'est un bon croissant. Mmm, quel bon gratin. Mmm, j'ai adoré cette bonne mousse au chocolat. The second way is any time that you're making reference to something or someone that is good at something specific. So not just use just like generally, but being precise. Like if somebody's a good cook, staying with the theme of cooking, then you may say, elle est une bonne cuisinière. Elle est une bonne cuisinière. Or, c'est une bonne coiffeuse. C'est une bonne coiffeuse. Uh, c'est un bon athlète. C'est un bon athlète. So when you're describing a person in terms of a um, thing or how they are, like a good parent. Oh, c'est un bon parent. It's a great parent. It's a good parent. And you're describing how good they are if it's related to food or related to who they are as a person or possibly in their job, then you would choose to use bon. To be noted that when you say c'est bon and you're pers possibly at a restaurant and somebody's like, Vous en voulez encore? Vous voulez encore de l'eau? Non, non, c'est bon. It means I'm good. It's good. Like in that context. But if you have bon associated to something, it's saying that thing or that person is good or good at that. So bon is usually going to precede the noun. So before the noun, just like in English. Whereas with bien, now we're going to talk about bien used as an adjective. So describing a person, place, or thing. Well, here it's actually going to follow that noun in terms of an adjective. So bien is going to follow it. Bien usually is used to describe a mental state or a state of being, such as being satisfied, being attractive, being good, as in go good in terms of how you feel, what's going on inside, or possibly being healthy or being moral. So you could use it, for instance, on est bien ici, like, we're pretty good here, huh? Like, we are feeling good. So associate bien with feeling in that state, that mental state or that emotional state. If you're already getting value out of this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up to support the channel. This video is dedicated to one of you YouTube subscribers who has asked me, when would I use bien, when would I use bon? So there you have it. On continue. Now let's look at how we would use bon and how we would use bien as an adverb. So an adverb simply describes a verb. A verb is an action. So what does an adverb do? It's going to describe how good something could possibly be by either choosing to use bon or choosing to use bien. So here with bon, we're going to choose to use it with verbs that may evoke an activity such as fait, faire, to do, to make, or it could be also used for time. Il fait bon ici au soleil. Ah, it's feels nice here. And also with the verb sentir, to feel or to smell. So with bon used as an adverb, it's more relating to 
a how you can feel or how the environment feels around you based on the actions. So it can pretty much mean nice pleasant or good, right? As the translation indicates. So again, often would that use the verb faire or that verb sentir. However, bien is technically more commonly used as an adverb to mean good because yes, it indicates good, but it can also indicate feeling well. Ça va bien? Are you doing good? Are you feeling well? Oui, ça va bien. Or, j'ai bien mangé, I ate well. So when you're trying to figure out if you may use bon or bien, if you're trying to identify what could be a replacer word. So the little key is if you're thinking of using bien, try it in your mind to replace it in English with the word well. If it could fit in the terms of using it for well, then then you would choose to use bien. I have a last section on how you would use it as a noun. Before I share this, and this is the shortest part of the video, make sure you hit that subscribe button. 11,000 of you are already following me, and to make sure that you're learning the French that's actually used, subscribe so you can be notified. Every Tuesday I have a French lesson up, and you're not going to want to miss it. I'm a native French speaker, but I also have been a professor and an educator for 17 years. And teaching my native language in simple terms makes me happy because you get to learn it in an easy way and you get to learn the basic things and but also what is most commonly used in the French language. So as a noun, when you're using bon or when you're using bien, basically it has to go with an expression. So the key is to learn the actual expression. Let me provide you with some examples. The first one with using bon would be un bon d'achat. It's almost like a coupon, un bon d'achat, un coupon, un coupon, un bon d'achat. Or for instance, un bon de livraison, like a little ticket to deliver. You know, I don't know how you say that in English, but un bon de livraison. You could also technically substitute it to say like the good of something, so of a noun, right, of a thing, but you're replacing it. For instance, je mange uniquement le bon. I'm only eating the good part, le bon du pain, okay? J'aime pas le crouton, donc je mange que le milieu, je mange que le bon du pain. With bien as a noun, I may say to my kids, Petit, c'est pour votre bien que je vous dis ça. Like, it's for your good that I'm telling you that. You see what I mean? For your good. So I would use bien for that. But I could also use it again with these expressions such as un bien immobilier, like a real estate good, a real estate something that is, you know, that belongs to you, like a property. Ou les biens et les services, like the good and the services. So with nouns, the key is to remember that most of the time it's going to be used with an expression. So how do you memorize these? Well, the key I recommend to my students at Beltier Academy when we covered this lesson and did different ways to practice it was to figure out what your learning style is. I'm linking a video above that talks about learning styles, identifying what type of learner you are personally, and then being able to learn but also review and practice based on your personal learning style. That will help immensely for you to be able to figure out when you'd be using bon, when you'd be using bien, and make sure you identify both that mean good. What kind of video or French lesson do you want to see next on this channel? Comment below. Hey, you get a bonus point if you comment in French. Je vous dis à bientôt les amis.